let's go pick up order number one of the day for my dude Andrew. Like I said, hopefully the order is ready. With Grubhub, the order is normally not ready, like um, it is on Uber Eats. So, this is the order we're about to pick up from Norms. Hopefully everything's ready. By the time we head inside. Good old apple juice. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Went inside and guess what? Five guys, the order wasn't ready. They said it's gonna be at least five to seven minutes. I'm kind of shocked because the Uber Eats order. So I just made it to the um, restaurant and the order's not bad at all, actually. No drinks. Wow. She tipped really good. We'll see how much she tipped, but good lord. That's not bad at all. So I finally just picked up the order and I was texting my girl Nancy. Told her I was waiting for the restaurant. She said, thank you. Can you please make sure they give me onions? I said, yes, on the side or on the hot dogs. She said, yes, on the hot dogs and the fries. Thank you so much with the heart. And then, yeah, thank you so much. So we're going to BJ's and then uh, Lucia's barbecue. So once again, hopefully it's a little more money than $17 for seven miles. Taking a gamble. You win some, you lose some. What up, world? It's your boy Zilla. Thanks for joining your boy Zilla on this ride along. Riding with Zilla. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Riding with Zilla. Doo -doo -doo -doo. As you know, on this channel, we do all apps Grubhub, Postmates, Uber Eats, Amazon Flex. Instacart and even that thing they call DoorDash. Our goal is a hundred dollars for today, maybe even two. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let's go get this. Back. Starting the day off at the Tesla supercharging station. I forgot the charge last night. As you can see, eight minutes remaining. Currently at eighty-two percent, and then we'll get our day started. All right, so we have our first order of the day. I'm just done charging. As you can see, so Grubhub shows up first. One order, twelve dollars total. I'm right here by the restaurant, drop off. That should be easy, $12. Hopefully the order's ready by the time we get there. That can be the only downfall. So let's go pick up order number one of the day for my dude, Andrew. Like I said, hopefully the order is ready. With Grubhub, the order is normally not ready, like um, it is on Uber Eats, or even that DoorDash for that matter. Grubhub is normally the slowest, but we'll see, hopefully the order is ready. Order number one. So, we just got bag number one for my dude, Andrew. Like I said, hopefully the drop off doesn't look like it's that far. It may be no more than three miles, I'm assuming. Three miles, let's go check it out. Look at this, he's actually only 2.2 .2 miles away. Not bad, not bad at all. Even better than I thought. And I just texted him that I'm on my way, he said thank you, perfect timing. As I was heading back to home base, guess what, DoorDash decides to join the party. $7.50 for 1.1 miles. And the most important thing is heading back towards home base. Once again, no dead miles headed back towards home base. Just picked up the bag for my dude, Shannon. Once again, he's only 1.1 miles away. And this is a no contact. Please leave it at the front door. Delivery said, make sure I text him and let him know. Food is at the front door. Let's get it. So we dropped off that DoorDash order. Everything went A-OK. -okay. The young lady actually met me outside, which is weird because instructions leave it at the door. However, as I was dropping that off, Grubhub shows up once again. We're heading to Norms. I believe it was $12, and it's maybe no more than three miles total. $12, three miles. I'm assuming Grubhub, Norms. So this is the order we're about to pick up from Norms. Hopefully everything's ready. By the time we head inside. Good old apple juice. Can't go wrong with apple juice. When inside, everything was ready. That's what your boy absolutely loved. Everything nice and tight inside the curb my bag. I also have to use the good old Uber Eats bags. The apple juice is down there in the Uber Eats bag. And like I thought, my dude Isaac is 2.3 miles away. This is a no contact. Please leave it at the front door delivery. All right, so I just made it back to home base and we got a $52 order on that thing they call Grubhub. 
which is right there the restaurant i'm the blue thing drop off 52 bucks i don't know how large this order is going to be but let's let's give it a try hopefully it's not too big i do have all my bags with me so i just made it to the um restaurant and the order is not bad at all actually no drinks wow she tipped really good we'll see how much she tipped but good lord that's not bad at all So I'm waiting for them to complete the order, but I think this might be my largest order, $52. Let me know if you ever received the order over 50 bucks. If not, what was your largest order? Leave a comment down below and let me know what was your largest order. Once again, I believe this might be my largest order, 52 bucks. So I finally just picked up the order and I was texting my girl Nancy, told her I was waiting for the restaurant. She said, thank you. Can you please make sure they give me onions? I said yes on the side or on the hot dogs. She said yes on the hot dogs and the fries. Thank you so much with the heart. And then yeah, thank you so much. Right near to the soda I'm on my way and we'll see. And look, she tipped $44. Good Lord. Okay, Nancy. You already know I got a wife and a girlfriend on the side, but I'll make you my third side piece if you want to. Stop playing with your boy, Nancy. Stop playing with your boy, Zilla. My future wife, Nancy, is only five miles away. Instructions, leave it at the front door. Five miles away, leave it at the front door. Everything nice and tight inside the grub bag. Once again, thank you so much, Nancy. $44 tip. Let's get it. All right, so I dropped that last order off to my future wifey, Nancy. As I was heading back, we got another order, grub up $16. Folk, I'm right here at the restaurant, which is right there. So hopefully this order is ready and the drop off is maybe five miles, maybe six, I believe. Just picked up the order and my dude Daniel is actually 6.5 miles away. This is a no contact. Please leave it at the front door delivery. Everything nice and tight inside the grub hub bag. 6.5 miles, 16 bucks. You know what? We'll take it because remember, it's heading back towards home base. All right, so I dropped off that last order. Everything went A-OK. -okay. And guess what? Uber Eats decides to join the party. We have five guys. Uber Eats, I believe $12.30 for 3.2 miles. Went inside and guess what? Five guys, the order wasn't ready. That says it's gonna be at least five to seven minutes. I'm kind of shocked because it's the Uber Eats order. But once again, we have to wait five to seven minutes to complete the order. Woo! Good Lord. Finally have the order inside the Grubhub bag. That took about 30, 35 minutes. Normally I would trip, but you know, Prop 22, we get paid for wait time. Once again, we get paid base pay here in LA, $21 an hour, so I don't mind waiting. Anyways, my girl was 3.2 miles away. This is a no contact. Please leave that at the front door right, delivery. So I dropped off that last order. Everything went A-OK. -okay. However, I need to head to the house real quick. So I'm about to head to the house for maybe 30, 40 minutes to the hour, and then we're gonna hit this dinner rush all right you guys so i'm back from my break so we got the tip from the last order on uh uber eat so ended up being 17 dollars 67 cent originally 12 dollars 54 cent so we got a bigger tip always make sure you send the thanks so we just received another order guess what we had back to five guys uber eats five guys i believe it was 15 dollars for four miles hopefully we don't have to wait 30 35 minutes this time hopefully everything is ready by the time we head inside 15 dollars uber eats five miles inside and guess what the order was ready this time that's what i'm talking about so you head inside the order is ready okay five guys you might redeem yourself a little bit five guys drop off is 3.7 miles away just to leave it at the door no contact All delivery right, so dropped off that last order everything went a-okay -okay. as i was living that order we got another double order on uber eats i believe it was 17 dollars for seven miles however both of the restaurants i'm going to are kind of expensive so I'm taking a gamble. I think it'll be more than $17 for seven miles. So we're going to BJ's and then uh, Lucia's Barbecue. So once again, hopefully it's a little more money than $17 for seven miles. Taking a gamble. You win some, you lose some. And hopefully we win this one.
So just pick the bulk order. That's order number one from the barbecue place. And this is the BJ's order. The BJ order we're dropping off first. He's 4.7 miles away. This is a no contact. Please leave it at the front door delivery. All right, y'all, I dropped off the last order, and that last double order in Uber Eats was officially the last order of the night. And remember the other Uber Eats order that I gambled on? I think it was Lucia's Barbecue and uh, BJ, so we're gonna get paid like $32. Originally it was 17, but we're gonna be getting $32, so that paid off the gamble, paid off. Anyways, thanks for riding alone with your boy Zilla. Riding with Zilla, doo 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 doo. Riding with Zilla, doo 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 doo. Let's see if we hit our goal of $100, maybe even two. Let's see how much money we made today. Doo 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 doo. Made today. Hey, and as you know, we always round up on this channel. So on that thing they call DoorDash, $32.25. $33 DoorDash. You know that thing they call Uber Eats, $84.42. $85 Uber Eats. However, I'm still waiting on two more tips. So I will update the video. $85 Uber Eats. And our main money maker of the day, that thing they call Grubhub, $93.18. $94 Grubhub. Thanks to my boo, my wifey, my girlfriend, all of the above. My girl Nancy with the $52 and the $44 tip a grand total 212 dollars we hit our goal for the day a a we hit our goal for the day a a 212 dollars that's what your boy talking about hope you enjoyed the ride along i enjoyed your company now as always make sure you like subscribe share comment i'll catch you on the next one peace